I read a lot of fiction and things like that that kind of came up around this like whole genre of cyberpunk, um, which is like William Gibson uh, kind of stuff. Um, science fiction where people are kind of merging man with machine and it's this kind of very film noir kind of feel but in the future and it's just like a really cool thing and I've just been into it since I was a kid and I always thought man that'd be really neat and then you know cut to adulthood where all of a sudden I'm a programmer and I'll, I'm capable of kind of doing some of this stuff and I figure hey let's give it a try and that's where, where it kind of came from. I had found out through various sources on the internet that you could implant a magnet into your finger um, and it would allow you to feel electromagnetic fields like live wires and you know devices working and straight up magnetism, things like this. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. That sounds really cool to be able to like feel something totally new um, that's kind of outside of the typical spectrum. I have uh, an XNT chip here which allows me to store small pieces of data on it um, this one I have GPS coordinates to my house um, and then I had a really large device called the Circadia implanted here that was an experiment so that stayed for about 90 days it was Bluetooth enabled and rechargeable and all this other jazz and uh, had some lights that it could shine through and like backlight my tattoo some cool stuff like that I also recently had one of our North Stars implanted here, um, but it was, uh, again, that was like part of the test batch, and so it turned out that there was something flawed with the design, so I had to have it removed, and, and now I'm going to go get another one next weekend, I think. The North Star was the simplest thing that we could think of that we could mass produce, and um, it would prove kind of that these were safe technologies at the mass production level, that you didn't have to get your hands in and do like all kinds of weird custom work and stuff like that. And so it's just a simple light and uh, it runs at extremely low power and so it'll like last for like five years and you'll just be able to run a magnet over it and it'll just turn on for like 10 seconds and it glows like really bright underneath your hand. And then people are gonna press them into like shapes and things like that, body modification type people press them into shapes you can have like a glowing star or a glowing skull or a glowing horseshoe or whatever something personal underneath your skin and it'll glow and kind of cool right along you can still see the scar this is the second one that i had implanted the first one uh we had a little bit of a problem with the um with the design of the board so it stopped it stopped working but yeah this one has been in for over a month now is that right yeah i think what i'm sitting on like five or six weeks that this one's been implanted and yeah i mean oh wow i didn't even get that close yeah i didn't even get that close on that one but yeah it's still lighting up okay um i haven't had any problems as far as uh the healing went fine with it i, I think even the scars I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that's going away